Hello, my name's Maeve and I'm a Materials Engineer, but I'm also part of the Women's Engineering Society Young Members Board. And 2018 is the Year of Engineering, and to recognise this, the Young Members Board are completing the James Dyson Challenge Cards. There's 52 challenges and we're completing one a week for the course of 2018. So this week is my week and today I'm going to be um, doing the challenge which is called Balloon Kebabs. Basically making a kebab with a balloon. So for this challenge you're going to need some olive oil, some balloons and um, some wooden skewers like you would use for a barbecue at home. So the first step is obviously to blow up the balloon. So you don't want to inflate your balloon too much, it's, but you want it to be about three quarters full. If it's too full, it's, the challenge isn't going to work. So now my balloon's inflated, I need to get this stick through it. So the, first, um, the next step is you basically need to coat your skewer in olive oil. So just make sure it's covered from top to bottom in the oil. Um, and this will hopefully help to prevent it popping. So you need to start by looking for the darkest area at the bottom of the balloon. And you should be able to slowly, gently work the skewer through the balloon. It might take a while, but try not to force it. Okay, it's in. And in terms of the other end, you want to look for the darkest spot again at the end of the balloon. Try and find it with your finger. And again, just slowly work it through. Okay, yeah. So here is my balloon kebab. You can see there's a skewer through this end and a skewer through this end. Um, and the reason that it works is it's basically the science behind surface tension. So the areas, the darkest areas of the balloon is where the, there is the least surface tension in the balloon. And it's basically saying that there is the most amount of molecules for the area in that section, in the dark section. So it's where that you can push the skewer through very gently without popping. And the same at this end. If I'd have tried to skewer the balloon through the, um, the tightest part or the most stretched part, it definitely would have popped. So there you have my balloon kebab and as always we'd like you to try this at home so please record yourself, tag us in it, um, write to us with your comments um, and show me how many balloons that you can successfully pop before you manage to get your balloon skewer. Um, yeah, thank you very much and uh, keep watching. Bye! Ha <laughs> ha